a beautiful spring day here in Shenzhen, China. Not too hot, not too cold. So I'm outside working on Betty bubble track. I'm sure you all remember from last time, Betty is a small electric vehicle I bought to hack and play around with. Her build quality isn't the best, so don't rush and try to order one. I don't think they're available for exports, but for under a thousand dollars, Betty is a great way for me to learn about small electric vehicles and drive more more to the wet. In most of China, these small EVs are very popular. But here in Shenzhen, things are more street, so they aren't really legal. And I have not been able to find a way to get a license so I could drive her legally. Since the police will likely confiscate Betty at some point, I can't really put a lot of money into her. But there are few things I can do to make driving Betty more fun and safer. First off, a lot of you described opening the canopy as slow. I consider it's more dramatic or even majestic. But point taken, let's have a look and see what improvements can be made. So one concern people have is what if the electrical system dies? How can I open the canopy? So I, I have put two pins on here and here, and let me show you how it works. Okay, now I'm going to change this linear motor to something a little faster. Allah. Last time many of you were complaining about the rattling noises, it was coming from this plate because it used these cheap self-tapping screws. I don't like them at all. Whenever I worked on it, it got loose. So I'm going to replace them with the rivet nut. Okay, of course, we are going to add some LED lights. This is the 5050 RGB LED strips. I'm going to attach it uh, to the bottom with just some pop rivets and some zip ties.
Give me a pause. Good girl. <laughs> so with the hood up, I can see really well. I have good visibility and I've got my mirrors. But if I close the hood, difficult to see where I'm going. This isn't so safe. So I'm going to put some camera in. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Okay, the 360 cameras are in, kind of like the, a poor girl's tes Tesla. But I, I, I can see the 360 wheel on the monitor. Let me show you. So this is the front wheel. This, this is the white wheel of the front wheel. Uh, this is the rear wheel. This is the back wheel of the wide angle. You, see, you can see Momo is sleeping. And then this is the full wheel, like full picture, but uh, the stitches uh, could need some work. And I think this shows like both ends, both sides. And this, I don't know, maybe the rear back side of both. And then there is the setting, setting uh, I could go in by using this dial. Uh, right now I'm controlling the monitor with the dial. I guess I will mount it somewhere later. Okay, you go in personalized recorder system and then you can see your latest version over here. System. So there is all this calibration protocol. Okay. Go back. Go back. But I think right now like this is fine, but I do need to clean up the wires. I need to uh, neaten it up and then I will uh, see what I can do with the video over here. So the chrome fender doesn't quite match the look of the rest of the tricycle and I'm, I'm worried about it getting banged up. So I'm going to swat it to color black and I'm going to 3D print it. I'm going to print it out the PETG material and I just have the perfect printer to do that. Let me show you. Okay, this is a CAD model of the Fender in Kirimoto. That's the web-based 3D printer slicing software I use for pretty much everything these days. This is actually from a full-length video demonstrating how best to use supports. I'll link to the full video in the description box. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. This is of course my 3D print mill. It's a pretty revolutionary 3D printer that I bought to market this year with Creality. It's part 3D printer, part conveyor belt. It can neither print really long parts or continuously print hundreds of parts. If you're in the US and would like to see in action, Micro Center now has them in stock. If not, I'll put the purchase URL in the description box if you'd like to buy one online.
I need to mount some controls, so I'm going to use this nibbling tool and this template. I might touch this part up with a little bit of paint later, but um, it's okay for now.
Okay, I think we are about ready for a test drive. Let me get in and start her up. 